Og var Tesla mod jo så mounted standing on the side uh, inside uh, the battery bay. This battery bay used to hold eight uh, normal lead acid batteries, uh, basically the same size in here. There's uh, several things uh, to notice in here. Each module um, is actually tied in with a four gauge cord um, or four gauge wire that is going up to a lock up here. And this one is actually a four slash O lock and five wires fit nicely in that one. So each of them are crimped uh, nicely in there. Means you can remove one battery easily. Same as uh, the case for the positive side, where again five wires is just going in and uh, it's getting into a four gate lock. You have to be a little careful when you disconnect this. But one thing we have done is we have put plywood all the way around in the box. So that basically means there is no metal that uh, can be contacted directly. Uh, with the locks in here and uh, normally uh, where as soon as we take a battery out we would actually uh, put some uh, tape around the positive and that's enough to insulate it. Each individual um, module has the wires that normally comes out of the Tesla module uh, being patched together with a little connector in here so you see in here there's a little connector that is getting into the seven wires necessary uh, to actually do the balancing in here then it is all extended and we have a battery medic out here that is uh, currently balancing all the batteries these uh, battery medics are set to be operating when the battery voltage get above 3.9 in each cell uh, they will start balancing so they're actually equal so the last um, 0.6 volt of our charging, we will actually have this engaged and being um, balancing the batteries. Temperature controls is really important and uh, we have uh, constantly uh, circulating fluid in the hoses that comes with the Tesla modules. It runs pretty slow because it's really have no heating issues during charging or anything like that one. The main issue is we want to keep it above uh, the freezing. To do that, we have a um, aquarium temperature control in there. So if the temperature drops below 70 degrees, it will actually heat the fluid and then it will circulate the heated fluid in there. That has worked really well even uh, when we were uh, way below freezing uh, in Breckenridge. It still kept the temperature uh, more than 20 degrees above freezing actually in the fluid circulating around here. The other thing in there is a sensor for our solar controller so we can actually track it in here. We also have a little uh, 250 gallons per hour aquarium pump down there and uh, it basically has a control board where we can adjust the voltage so it runs quicker uh, if we in lower temperature. We have a um, Elgato EVE temperature sensor out here, so we will constantly be tracking uh, what the temperature actually is inside uh, this bay. Um, it's not the temperature of the batteries, but it's actually um, a little colder typically than the batteries, and that's how we measure the 10 degrees uh, or 20 degrees above freezing, by the way. The modules itself has an edge on each side and it makes the mounting quite easy. We have created a board similar to this one that is underneath. We just cut some grooves where the edge fit down in that prevents them sliding forward backward. And by having some straps that go underneath the board and then above the batteries, we are able to tie them down very well in here. So this one with the weight of 270 pounds or so. Uh, it should easily be able to hold that down uh, in the case of uh, we will be rattling around on the road out there. But that is basically the setup for the Tesla modules. We have uh, our setting is currently that we charge to around 24.2 volt and the disconnect of the inverter uh, is at 20. So that fits perfect with the operating range for the Tesla modules being between 25.2 uh, and 19.8 for the normal operation.
we do not use the higher part of uh, the charging and that's because lithium ion batteries um, when charged to full is actually degrading a lot more than when you charge uh, to 80% or less. That's also how they're actually used in the car, where they would only charge them uh, to 80 or 90% on a regular basis. Only if you do a long drive would you actually need to charge them fully in here.